We came from roaches on the floor A notice on the door Begging soda in the jar But now we focus on the law It's like soap up in a cloth The way it's soaking and it washed It's something like good dope Cause it's potent and it's raw I used to post up out of store Work stash behind the door Everything I had was pure So fiends was coming back for more The most high opened my eyes And then I seen that I was Alright, alright, first and foremost I want to give all honor and glory And praises to the Most High Yahweh and we do so by the name of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ain't really called Jesus Christ. Right? We coming out here again to let this wicked kingdom know that you on your last leg. Right. America is on the brink of a destruction, man. And it's time for you blacks and Latinos and Native American Indians to wake up, man, to who y'all really are. Right? Let me get that in um, Jeremiah 28 and verse 8. Bring it up! It's book of Jeremiah. Chapter 28 and verse 8. Yep. The prophets that have been before me... Right, the prophets that have been before us, go ahead. And before thee of old prophesied, both against many countries and against great kingdoms. Right, so we come in the spirit of our forefathers, man, to prophesy against this wicked kingdom, man. Right, they did the same thing in the book of Jeremiah. We're going to do the same thing out here today. Because America is on the brink of destruction, man. If y'all don't wake up to, to who y'all are, bring them over, right? In these last days, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be dark for you. Come over here, sister, real quick, if you don't mind. Yeah, I ain't, ain't going to bite you. How you doing today? What's your name? Nalia, and he, he told the brother that you're from, he's Jamaican, your um, so-called Jamaican, and your father from Jamaica and stuff like that. Okay. okay, well, according to the Bible, and according to the Most High God, that you'll be from the tribe of Benjamin. You ever heard about that? The Benjamites in the Bible? Right, so the Bible deals with the nation of Israel, right, that it has 12 tribes, right, that make up the nation of Israel, right, and you will fall under one of those categories, because it's Jamaica in the Bible. Can you find Jamaica in the Holy Bible? No, right? So what does God call you? If you can't find Jamaica in this book, right? Or Guyana, or Trinidad, or none of these different countries that they're called today, right? What does God call you according to this Bible? A, a, a Benjamite, right? That's good, right? And that was Benjamite, so one of the, the youngest son out of the 12 tribes, right? So that's what we teach in our head that you so-called blacks and Latinos, you, you are Native American Indians, and so-called Jamaicans and the Caribbeans, we are God's chosen people. That's right. You ever heard that before? Where you are, right? Because Jamaica means what? Land of wood and water. Right? Are you a land of wood and water? You're not. Right? So that's the thing that we are teaching the to come back to your nationality, just to come back to who you are, understand what this book is talking about. Let me show you a few things real quick, all right? Let me drop that. Let me get our um, second Ezra's nine. Luke? Luke chapter 21 and verse 9. I wanted to but when you shall hear of wars and commotions, right that sister? It says when you shall hear of wars and commotions, right? Go ahead. Be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass. But the end is not yet. But the end is not by and by. Then said he unto them, Nations shall rise against nation. Right that Nalia? You looking at the sign, you're, you are, you're intrigued? You have any questions about it? So I need you to listen real quick, all right? I got you. Then he said unto them, nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. Let me ask you a question. When you look around social media, look around the news, do you see people in the uproar? There's always wars going on, rumors of wars, right? Things are going to happen in, in these last days, right? Read that part again. Then he said unto them, nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And great uh, earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines and pestilence. Famine and pestilence, right? Pestilence is it's like a disease, right? Yeah. You got the, the COVID out here, you got things of that nature. So the Bible says when you see these, th these certain things happening, understand that, understand that the times are, are, are at hand, right? The time is coming near where the Most High God is going to come back. And you have to be able to identify and understand where do you fall within this Bible? Where do you fall within the nation of Israel, right? Are you gonna are you gonna get to the kingdom calling yourself Jamaican? All these different um names? No, you have to understand what your God given nationality, right? Go ahead. And famines and pestilence and fearful sights and great signs shall be and great signs shall there be from heaven. Right. And it's gonna have great signs up in the sky. Right, you look on social media today, you see everybody talking about, oh, they, they see UFOs flying around, everybody seeing these different bright lights going on, and they can't identify it, right? So the Bible says, when you see these things, God, 
but before all these, they shall lay their hands on you. Before these things happen, we're going to go through a great persecution. So that's what we out here to let you know that you have to come back to your God, come back to what God calls you. And if you don't know what he calls you, that's going to be a problem. You know what I'm saying? Because I once called myself Trinidadian, right? This brother once called himself Guyanese, right? Brothers called himself Haitians, right? But that's in, in the scriptures, right? Give me that. It's the book of Second Ezra, chapter 9 from the top. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently. Read that, Nalia? It says, measure the times diligently, right? Go ahead. Diligently in itself. Uh -huh. And when thou seest part of the signs past, when you see these things happening, right, Nalia? Don't get distracted by your Instagram, your Facebook, and all these TikTok and these different things. You have to look at social media right. and see what's going on when it comes to these wars, right? Because um, the, this kingdom uses TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Right? All these different platforms to distract you from what's really going on out here, right? And when you ask a black man or a black woman what's going on in the world, they have no clue. But if you ask them who got who got the most TikTok trends, you'll be able to give me their they name and their birthday. Right? Now, yeah, that's a problem. Right? Go ahead. Which I have told thee before. Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. You believe that God going to come back and revisit this earth? You believe in Jesus? He says he's going to come back right, and revisit this earth. So it says what? Read that part again. That it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people and uproars of the people. You see the, the uh, Roe versus Wade. They uproars about abortion. They have uproars about Ukraine. They got uproars about LGBT and there's all these different things. It's an uproar. Everybody is in a disarray, right? Go ahead. Therefore, when thou shalt see, there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand. It says, then you shall understand that the Most High spoke of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end. Do you agree with that? That everything in the world has a beginning and has an end, right? Go ahead. I believe in day and night. And the end is manifest. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful words. It's just like how the mo everybody have a beginning and end, the same way how the Mosai, he has a time where he's going to come and a time that he's going to judge. You understand me? So you have to understand that who your God is. Let me ask you a question. You ever heard about the commandments of God? How many commandments were you taught? Ten. It's ten commandments? Now what if I told you that it was actually more commandments than that? Like, let me ask you a question. Can I, become, can I be a homosexual according to the Bible? No. Depends on the Bible. There's no Bible in the world that says that you can be a homosexual. It's okay. Can you eat unclean meat according to the Ten Commandments? You can't eat pork and things of that nature, right? Yeah. But that's not in the Ten Commandments. Letting you know that it's actually more commandments than that. Right? And if, and if we didn't bring out these commandments, we wouldn't be doing our job. Yeah. Do you know the Ten Commandments? You gotta go? They look like they're chilling. They got what? Reservation. Reservation to where? Who, Olive Garden? No. I want to say Olive Garden ain't going nowhere. <laughs> but since you gotta get this food, you gotta get this meat right here, man. This is this this this, this the living word right here. Yeah, give me that John 4. Right, bring it up. In the book of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 4. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded. Um, out of the mouth of God. That's our people's biggest flaw, man. They, they don't live by the word of God, man. They live by everything in this world, man. Right? And I see like, a lot of these Jakes out here today mixed up with these heathens, man. Right? right? They, they're looking all whitewash, right? So they have a certain mentality where you can't even talk to a brother and sister because in their mind, they've been they've been white supremacized, right? They've been hanging around these these these, these damn heathens so long they feel like they think that, that they're one of them. And, and, and uh, that's going to be a problem, man. So we got to wake up to who we are and come back to the commandments of the Most High God. Right? I need that, um, what I had you holding before. Yeah, give me Luke and then give me Acts. Matter of fact, just give me Acts um, 17 and verse 11. Acts uh, 17 verse 11. 17 verse 11. These were more noble than, these were more noble than those in Thessalonica in that they received the word 
with readiness of mind. Right, that's the key, man. We got to receive this word with readiness of mind, man. Right? Go ahead. And search the scriptures daily. You gotta do what? Search the scriptures daily. It's contrary to the popular belief. You gotta search the scriptures daily, man. You gotta apply your mind to this Bible. Search the scriptures daily, like the brother was saying. Your history, your nationality, your heritage is actually in this book, right? And you gotta search the scriptures daily to get a better understanding, right? A lot of people come with the preconceived notion that they know what the Bible says, but you really don't, because you have never what searched the scriptures. Read that part again. And so, uh, search the scriptures daily. Whether those things be so. Whether the things be so, right? We can prove everything on this side of this Bible. So right. it's your job to go home and get in this book and search it and see what the brothers are saying was wrong, right? Don't just leave it up to your own mind to say, but then, all right, King, what's up? I already have my own God. I already got my own understanding, right? I'm going to just go with that. You got to search the Bible daily. Like how you said, you got to read, research, right? Look at archaeology, right? You got it has to all line up, right? Right. So... Right? So, and anything that you do, King, you have to um, be able to line it up with prophecy, history, archaeology. Right? You can't just say something but not be able to if back you don't it that up. That means it, right. the reason why I don't add up is because the truth missing. Exactly. So when you read the scriptures, everything lines up. Look at Job, chapter 8, and verse 8. Read it up. Just as the previous generation get two, one, and seven. pay attention to the experience of our ancestors. The Bible says, just ask the previous generation. Go ahead. Read it again. Just ask the previous generation. Pay attention to the experience of our ancestors. To who? To our, of our ancestors. And that's what you said earlier, brother, about your ancestors, right? You got to pay attention. Read it again. Just as the previous generation. Right, go ahead. Pay attention to the experience of our ancestors. That's what we do. We pay attention to the experiences of our ancestors. We saw what they did, we saw what they went through, we saw what they did correctly. Right? As right? Yes. we gotta know what we That's what we have for. That's what we have for. So right now we have a time for it to get it together. So the black men have no choice, no excuse to say, was it okay? I didn't know. Right? If you don't get in this book, we need to get for the key. Nice and loud. One more time. Joe, eight and eight. Uh huh. We know. As the previous generation. Uh huh. Pay attention to the experience of our ancestors. Go ahead. For we were born but yesterday. But we was born by yesterday. We wasn't born too long ago, right? So we gotta search the people of the past. See, yo, what happened to the people in the past? Which I did. How y'all live? Which I ain't. Right? What God you worship? What, what, what kind of clothes you wore? You feel me? Man, how to live in that, in that, in that, in that higher realm of our, 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 our mental. You know what I'm saying? Not living on our, on our lower realm. We gotta be able to be up there. But we gotta, but we gotta, but we gotta, but we gotta ask the answers. This is our G. You know what's going on. I know that. Hey, your society is all assignment cut out for us. Right, but we got, but we gotta get it right. You know what I mean? Verse 9. Okay. For we were born but yesterday. You heard that brother said we was born but yesterday. Go ahead. Oh, and no, nothing. You don't know nothing. Right? right. Because you was born what? Niggas was born in the hood. You born in Flatbush, Queens, Bronx. All you think, all you think you know is the peace and the projects, right? Until you wake up. Well. But how do you wake up? By using the scriptures, man. You wake up by looking. Hold on. You wake up by checking your forefathers and seeing where they went wrong. I said you awake. Right? This world not gonna wake you up. Put that part again. Right? This world will wake you up. For we were you born but yesterday. Going on. And no, no nothing. Uh -huh. Our days on earth are as fleeting as a shadow. Uh -huh. But those who came before us, those that came before us, right? Go ahead. Will teach you. They gonna do what? Will teach you. And those that come before us will teach us. Go ahead. They will teach you the wisdom of all. They will teach you what? They will teach you the wisdom of all. Forefathers, they will teach us the wisdom of all. Because right now we gotta go back to our forefathers. They go back to how they did it in the past. Right? Gotta go. Gotta get the soul the root. Go back to the roots. But guess what? But we got another. The key question is, where's our roots at? What is the black man's heritage? Right, but what's our heritage though? What do we used to eat? Are we talking about it as human beings? Come on. You have to remember what human beings don't eat. Right, but not just humans, but human beings. Right, but what's, but what's our heritage though? What do we used to eat? How do we used to dress? What God did we serve? What's our heritage? What music did we listen to? Did we wear do rags, do we wear skinny jeans and do rags in the, in, in, in the ancient days? It depends on where you're going back to. Who wore that? Going back. I'm with it. Essence, source, before all of this manifest. But that's not a heritage before, though. Before light was light. Yeah, true it is. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Everything. Listen, everything. Changed. Right. But I'm saying though, the key question is the heritage. What is your heritage? What 
that you used to wear. I want to see what you wore. I want to see. I want to hear what you ate. I want to hear what God you served. I want to hear about your your traditions and your, and, 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 and your holidays. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, give me that. Give me that real quick. True. Yeah, true. Why? Right? Because if you look around America today, like look at the T-Mobile. They're pushing this homosexuality agenda, right? And the Bible says what? Look at the answers to see what happens. Look at the society. Yeah. Correct. Look at the ancient days. They're gonna show how they got the whole society. Give me that true one seven. The book of Jude, chapter one, verse seven. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities are um, about them in like manner, uh -huh. given uh, uh, and Sodom. Jude 1 and 7, even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities are um, about them in like manner, uh -huh. giving themselves um, over to fornication. Right, and that's what America do. America likened this, this kingdom to Sodom and Gomorrah, oh, 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 right? Oh, oh, oh. The homosexual, the far fornication kind of, they kind of same characteristics, right? Right. right. But you look at, look, you look at, look around. They got cross stickers everywhere, bro. Right? They, 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 they mimic it, Sodom and Gomorrah. Read it again. Yeah. And even as Sodom and Gomorrah, uh -huh. and, and the cities about them in like manner, uh -huh. giving themselves over the fornication, go ahead. and going after strange flesh, after strange flesh, homosexuality, go ahead. are set forth uh -huh. for, for uh, um, an example. And what? For uh, um, an example. God destroyed them for an example. So we can look back at the past and say, all right, we're not going to do that. That's right. We're going to get the same judgment. Right? That's right. Read that part again. <laughs> Are set forth for um, an example, uh -huh. suffering the vengeance. Suffering what? The vengeance uh -huh. of eternal fire. Of eternal what? Fire. Of eternal fire. Now we read earlier. The Bible says, "Go back in the past and check out the wisdom." Right? Now when you look at the past, the ancient days, they got destroyed for being homosexuals. All we follow the same thing. Right? But America said, "Now we gonna follow the way of homosexuality. We gonna do that." So, so what's gonna happen? In the, so what's gonna happen? They're gonna get destroyed. We're supposed to be growing as humanity. Right. They wanna keep us stagnated so they can control us. They wanna actually eradicate. The black man. They want to get us fucking out of here. We're the ones that's here to bring Right, but they can never. Right, the Come, come, but they can never do that. Read that, King. The Book of Romans, chapter fifteen, and verse four. For what, uh, for what, so everything were written um before time, were written for um our learning. Right. You see, the things that were written beforehand were written for what? For our learning. Our learning. Right. You had God, not, not the knowledge yourself, da, 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 but you gotta apply your mind to some kind of knowledge. You gotta read it somewhere, get the information. You can't just sit back in your own corner and be like, everything will just start beaming to you. You gotta come out here, and check around, look around the hood, see what's going on, see how your people is moving, see the black woman, how the white man works, how the Asians work. You know, okay, cool. I'm a, I'm a man, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a god on earth, right? So that's what we're doing the same thing, King. So we allow what you're saying, you know what I mean, to some degree, but to come and get that. That's why I'm letting y'all rock. Right. I ain't trying to say anything. To come and get that, so now you gotta come and get the, the full S and then let it come and polish it a little bit more. Polish it up. I see your power, see your zeal, right? You got daughter, but you have to have to polish it up. Let me get that real quick. I got some more for you. Uh -huh. Daniel, uh -huh. chapter 4, and verse 17. Uh -huh. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the man by the word of the holy one. Uh -huh. To the intent that the living may know. That the most high ruler in the kingdom of men. Says the living they know that the most high God, the high ruler in the kingdom of men. So every kingdom that you see in the ancient Bible, they're gonna destroy. Egypt got destroyed, Babylon got destroyed, the Persians got destroyed, the, 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 the Greeks got destroyed, the far law, right? The, then the Romans came, they got destroyed. America is the last leg, it's the last kingdom. They're gonna be destroyed. So That's the right. Down, what you gonna do when this shit go down? Right. You gotta be right and exact. You gotta right. be on point. So you see the fuckers out here? You right and be exact. You fear for that day. Read that part again, I got you. To the intent that the living may know, that the living may know that the most high, most high God, who live in the kingdom of men. You call all the shots around here. You don't want to set the right man up and, and make you feel like, yo, make a market ready and get a tattoo in the class. You created them so that we could correct ourselves. Right, the most high heart in their mean? heart, put them in a position so when you come and show their wrath, ooh, ooh, ooh. I got That's you. That's how they mean. I got you, right? So we can reflect on them so we can learn from them. Right, we can learn. You that. can learn unity as well as correction. I got you. Check this out. The most I set them up as a, like a spiritual belt, like a spiritual ripping belt. So he can get us in order. You feel me? So we can see the outfit on it before we walk. Right. Read that part again. Check this out. Look at that. The most high ruleth in the kingdom of men. Just like in Egypt, he said he hard as God was hard just to show my wrath. So God would set the nation up, put them on top, make them feel like yeah, they hit the America's the greatest city. And he said he did that just to bring them back down. So you can know who the fuck I am. So you can know who the real God is. Because this man is not going to do it. You know what I'm saying? So he says the most I ruled in the kingdom of men. He sets up kingdoms.
he was the dude that throw it down. But the last kingdom that he gonna set up is gonna be us, King of Black Man. That's right. That's right. never gonna be thrown down. No more that trust the energy. None, none, none of that, that shit. None of that semantics. Shit. None of that pig energy. Papers. None of that Papers. melanin. Papers. Not that 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 non melanin Papers. shit. Right. Papers. Read that part right here. That's Papers. right. All right. Chapter ten, verse eight. Uh -huh. yeah. Because of unrighteous dealings. Because of what? Because, because of unrighteous dealings. Have you felt like America have done unrighteously to our people? Of course, but it was all defined to Daniel 5 25. Yeah, if I was without, without that question, without the opposition really put us in position, G. Right. But listen, but you say it's divine, right? It's prophesied right here. It's set up like that. So I'll be with you. Read it again. Because of unrighteous dealings. Because of unrighteous dealings. Go ahead. Um, injuries. Let me ask you a question. You're my brother, right? Would you deal with me unrighteously? Unrighteously. I'm protecting myself by all means. By but, 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 but what about your but brothers, though? What about us, though? We all want to be extensions to each other. Right. So, like I said, so. Hurting you will be hurting me. Right. So, you won't deal with me unrighteously, right? You will deal with me on the right to slow. So, read that part again. Because of unrighteous dealings. Because of unrighteous dealings. What the so called white men have done to us, right? Slavery, the slave trade, right? Oppression. Killing us, oppressing us. That's unrighteous dealings, guys. Okay. Um, injuries uh -huh. and riches got by deceit. And America got their riches by deceit. Rob stole gold into Africa, dig up the coal mine, slave niggas, bring back the cotton, That's bring back the coal. Once upon a time too, G. Who did well, that? Yo, us before, in the essence, when, this, when we existed in the heavenly places, before we fell to dwell this earth, that's what we did. We abused so, our abilities. The heavenly, we, where's we, the heavenly places? Like, talk about somewhere up in the sky? Nah, somewhere? nah, nah, nah. I'm talking about in a different dimension, like in our glorified bodies. It, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, you know, holographic form, not in this density in this flesh. Let me where get, we have fatigue and where we have to rest. I'm and glad you said that. Let me get truth one and seven, but it's at the age of four. Look up from their first estate. I got you. Um, Jude 1. We watch this. What you said is very key. That people are in, in, in the heavenly realm. And then we fell to what? We fell to a Lord. So we get the rest of 2 and 1. I got you. Bring it out. The book of Jude, chapter 1, verse 6. Uh -huh. And the angels which kept nothing. The, the angels. The messages of God, which is us, right? The extension of the right side. Which kept not their first um, estate. We didn't keep our first estate. What's our first estate? Being rulers on the earth, right? Up in that heavenly realm. We left that first estate. Right now we have, so now we're there now. We, we in Times Square, we in the projects, we in the hood. Human is supposed to be a humbling experience for us. Right, but guess what, but, but this is not the mode. Right? We in slavery right now, okay? We in free. When I get back to that heavenly, to that realm that you asking about, we gotta earn these wings back. How you earn that though? How you get that? By keeping God's I'm sure by keeping the rules like that. But left, but left their their own um, habitation. They reserve an everlasting chains on the darkness. Right, it says we left our habitation. What did we used to do before we came here in America? Like physically, we all came from everywhere. But physically, the movie was at first though. We all of this. All of this thing is one. We didn't separate. We didn't call it Africa or I North America. Or but but, but where was we at though? You over there, me, over. No, I'm saying no. Come out of this world, you for a second, I'm right? Here, come That's down to come, come down to reality, real quick. All reality, G. I got you, but come back down to earth to the actual um, the realm of the realm of practicality, right? That's what I'm saying. I don't, I love so, you said right. That. You know, so at one point we was all in a certain geographical location, okay. right? Yeah. So called Africa, so called wherever, right? We could say northeast over in Israel, right. right? All the way yeah. over, right? Yeah. Lived there thousands of years, hundreds yeah. of thousands of years. I understand that. But the point is that we left our habitation that was taken into slavery. Right. So now we have to get the get back, try to get back to our homeland. So we can start to get in tune with that land, that earth, our higher self, our God, and get back to what we was doing before we came over here and slavery. disconnected from the planet, G. Right. So, so, around us, polyester, souls, and all, all that stuff, man. So we got to get back. We want to disconnect from nature. Look where we at. I got you. Read that again, King. I got you. What? I like your zeal, man, but you gotta polish it up a little yeah, bit. I got you. I, think, I, think I got you. I got you. I and I appreciate the information too, King. Go ahead, bro. But left their own um, habitation. We left our own habitation. He had a reserve in everlasting chain. Oh, so I put us in an everlasting chain. That's these bodies that we're in now. Go ahead. Um, on the darkness. Under what? Under darkness. Um, uh, um, on to the, uh, the judgment of the great day. Unto the day of that great day. Let me just look. With the Lamentations, chapter 2 from the top. Yeah. How hath the Lord covered the daughter of Zion with a cloud in his anger? How hath the God covered, you know when we watch cartoons, they put a cloud over your head, and it's, like, and it's like a bad day for you, right? Right. Let's read that part again. How hath the Lord covered the daughter of Zion with a cloud in his anger? And cast down from heaven uh -huh. onto the earth uh -huh. the beauty of Israel. Right, but what you just said is key to it says it casts us down from a higher power down to a lower power. So now what you said, we got to get back to the higher power. 
to be back to the higher self. That's the only way to correction off the self. Right. And, but, and getting off humans in check and being. But the black man don't like correction. Niggas don't want to hear this shit. Niggas don't like to hear what they do not to do. Because ignorance is bliss. So you become wise. Right, so you gotta come out here and get with us and come teach your people. You gotta come out here on the side of the line and start a revolution. We got to tap you on Instagram or something. We got to say, we got the eyes. But I'm saying though, right? But we need you. Right, man, that's why I love politics and the government because we extensions to each other. Right. And this is how we're going to get it right and exactly. Right. First, right. we have to bring the social awareness. So, because if we're unaware, how do we bring correction? Right. But we got to get But this type of understanding, they, they suppress it, okay? Right? This don't get out that much, right? The celebrities have mentioned that we are the real people of the Bible, we are the real guys, the true Jews. But when they do, they suppress it, man. They suppress it. They stop that. I got you. I got you. I want to show you that your spirit is present in what this is saying, right? But I see, but I see you like, yeah, like, you know, I'm about to. Chapter 2, verse 44. Uh -huh. And in the days of those kings uh -huh. shall the God of heaven, the, who? the God of heaven, higher power, right? Set up a kingdom. Uh -huh. Set up a kingdom. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Which shall never be destroyed. Be what? Which shall never be destroyed. Every kingdom got destroyed. Right? What happened to Egypt? Is Egypt still here? It's a bunch of Arabs over there. They got destroyed. Right? Every kingdom got destroyed. But this kingdom that you gonna set up, you gonna put the most high the big one, not us as the old president. Come on. Where we are right, right, right. We yeah, we be the love homie. True indeed. Read that part again? True indeed. Right. Which shall never be destroyed. Never be destroyed, right? You want to get into an everlasting kingdom, right? It's never going to get pillars or destroyed, man. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people. And the kingdom shall not be given to somebody else. It's got to be about us, not about right. just me or not Remember about Remember the scripture says in Syrac. Remember it says in the other verse 10 and 8 when it says, do you read that finish out of Syrac 10 and 8? Come. Read it again for the king. It's a lot. Right? The kingdom shall not be left to other people. Watch this king. Syrac chapter 10 and verse 8. Uh-huh. Because of unrighteous dealings, uh -huh. um, injuries, and riches gotten by deceit, uh -huh. the kingdom oh, is translated from one people to another. It says because of unrighteousness and unrighteousness in the kingdom is translated from one person to the next. He gave it to the Assyrians, to the Babylonians, and he gave it to the Persians, and he gave it to the Greeks, and it passed all the way down. But the kingdom, but our kingdom, gonna be never be destroyed. So that's the whole point, right? It's a lot of truth. So give me that back in Daniel. Daniel chapter two, verse forty-four. And in the days of those kings. Shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall, which shall never be destroyed? It's gonna never be destroyed, God. Huh? And the kingdom shall not be left to all the peace. This kingdom that we gonna have in the last is never passed to other people because what we're gonna be ruling and righteousness. Right. We're not gonna be dealing with homosexuality and all this LGBT shit in our kingdom, right? Right? Even when Obama came into office, right? Elevated past this world. Right? 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 When Obama came into office, right? 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 Right?
Verse 3, uh-huh. and it shall come to pass uh-huh. in the day that the Lord shall give you rest 
from thy sorrow. The Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow. The Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow. Right. The most are gonna give us rest from our sorrows, man. Right? He's gonna give us rest from this hard bodies which he was made to serve, right? right. After the white man get his judgment, man. Go ahead. And from thy fear, uh -huh. and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. And that hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve, go ahead. Verse 4, and thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon, uh -huh. and say, how has, how has the arm of seed? Right, the same way how they take up the proverbs and us all these barbers and proverbs, we're going to do the same for the so-called white man, man. Right? He's going to be a proverb and a barber in these last days, go ahead. The golden, the golden city seas. Huh? The Lord had broken the staff of the wicked. Right, the most have broken the staff, the scepter, right? Of, of the power of the wicked, man. Go ahead. And the scepter of the rulers. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke. Right. He who smote the people with wrath with a continual stroke. Go ahead. He that ruled the nations in anger. Who did what? He that ruled the nations in anger. Right. This land ruled the nations in anger, man, with vigor, man. Go ahead. It's persecuted and not hindering. Go ahead. The whole earth is at rest Go ahead. and is quiet. You heard that? It said the whole, when the white man get destroyed, it said the whole earth is at rest and, it, and it's quiet, man. Go ahead. Everybody tell me, pick it up, put it down, pick it up, put it down. Come on, man. Go ahead. He, he, the, the old earth is at rest uh -huh. and it's quiet. Uh -huh. They, they shut this brought down. forth in singing. Uh -huh. Yay! Yeah. The fig tree rejoice Look, at thee. Some of the agent Smith. And the scepter of Lydia right right? say, since thou, Agent Smith. Since thou art laid down, since thou art down, laid down, go ahead. No fault, no fella is come up against us. Go ahead. Hell from beneath is moved up. Right. Hell is going to continue to be moved for the so called white man, man. Look at that, Look at Joel, chapter 3 and verse 9. Let me get Daniel, let me get Daniel. Why are they so angry? Say to the nations far and wide. Get ready for war. Say do what? Get, get ready, ready for, for war. war. Well, I just said they gotta get ready for war, man. Oh, they know that. Call out your best warriors. Call out your best warriors, man. Right. Right. Go get Chuck Norris. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Bring it out! Let all your fighting men advance for the attack! Ooh, 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 ooh. Hammer your plowshares into swords! Say, say, get your weapons ready, man! Go ahead. And your pruning hooks into spears! Go ahead. Train your... Uh, train even your weaklings! Train even your weaklings! Right? Look yeah. so far, white man! Get your young ones oh, you ready got your to war! Right. Right. Go ahead! To be warrior! To be what? To, to be, be warrior! Let them get ready for war, man! Because there'll be a war coming up, man! All right. Hey yo, it's gonna be a spiritual one though. Yeah, book of Daniel. Go, 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 go. Daniel chapter 12 and verse 1. You know that. Now, and at that time shall Michael stand up. Mm -hmm. The great prince uh -huh. will stand it for the children of thy people. Children of who people? The children, the children of, of thy people. Children of, of thy people, man. Right. And there shall be a time of trouble. A time of what? A time, time of, of trouble. It's gonna be a war, man. And why you gonna stand up for a time of trouble, man? Go ahead. Such as never was uh -huh. since there was a nation, uh -huh. even to that same time. Uh -huh. And at that time, uh -huh. thy people shall be delivered. Shall be what? Shall, shall be, be delivered. delivered. That time, what is that war going down? They're going to be delivered, man. Look at Revelation 12 and 7. Right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Revelation 12 and 7. We're going to learn something. Get from Revelation uh -huh. chapter 12 right. and verse 7. You know? And there was war in heaven. You heard that, brother? And then it was a war. Uh -huh. Michael oh. and his... Michael, Michael and his angels, his angels, go ahead, fought against the dragon. So far, white man, the dragon, ooh, 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 ooh. and the dragon fought and his angels. His angels, what's the dragon? What's the white man's angels? The FBI, the CIA, the, CIA, the military. Yeah. Does, you see what the uh, they got, the spaceships they got, the, the corporations, those are all his angels. You feel me? Read that part again. That's the beat. And there this was war in huh? heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. Uh -huh. And the dragon fought and his angels uh -huh. and prevailed not. And what? And prevailed not. Oh, 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 oh. Neither was there peace found anymore. Uh, neither was there place found anymore in heaven. There's going to be no place right. for the so called white man after this. Right. And, and the great dragon, it, dragon was cast that out. Uh -huh. That's that old serpent uh -huh. called the devil. Was the white man? The, the, the devil. devil. The, the devil. devil. And Satan, uh -huh. which deceived it, the whole earth. Right, so it's time to get ready for war. Give it energy all three of us now. Time to get ready for war. Let me get back to 417. Get back to 417. Bring it out. Good Joel! Chapter 3, verse 9. Bring it out! 
set to the nations for a word. It said, set to the nations for a word. Get ready for war. For what? Get ready for war. Get ready for war. Go ahead. Call out your best warrior. Call out your best warrior indeed. Let all your buddy men advance for the attack. Go ahead. Need all that shit. Hammer your plowshares into swords. Go ahead. And your broody oaks into spears. Go ahead. Try and even your weaklings to be warriors. Go ahead. Come quickly. Do what? Come quickly. Go ahead. All you nations everywhere. Uh -huh. Gather together in the valley and now. Go ahead. And now, Lord, call out your warriors. It says, and now, Lord, call out your warriors, right? right. Because, hold on, the other is going to call out their warriors. They best warriors. Right? He said, now, Lord, God, call out your warriors, which is going to be us. Read that part again. Now, O oh Lord. And now, O oh Lord. Uh -huh. Call out your, your warriors. Huh? Let the nations be called to arms. Go ahead. Let them march to the valley of Jehoshaphat. Go ahead. There I, the Lord. There who? There I, the, the Lord, Lord. will sit to pronounce judgment on them all. Go ahead. Swing the sickle. You gonna do what? Swing the sickle. It's a sickle. You ever saw a Grim Reaper with that yeah. tall sickle and that hook? Yeah. That's, a, that's a sickle, right? Yeah. What you do with well, that? You, you cut, you cut. Slay the beat. Right, it says do what? Swing the sickle! It says do what? Swing the sickle! Swing that sickle, go ahead. That's right! For the harvest is ripe! For the harvest is the soft and ripe, man. Bring it out. Wicked of the earth, it's ripe. They're ready, they're ready to get cut down, right? Go ahead. Come tread the grapes! It says do what? Come tread the grapes! How do you tread grapes, King? You are step on them, right? What you do to do to do to do to do to do right? Read it again? Swing the sickle! Uh -huh. For the harvest is ripe! Go ahead. Come tread the grapes! Do what? Come tread the grapes! Go ahead. For the wine press is full! For the wine press is full! It's time to get that wine, time to get that blood, man! Gotta get it back in blood, right? Bring it out! Right, Bring it out! Come tread the grapes! Uh -huh. For the wine press uh -huh. is full! Uh -huh. The storage vents are overflowing! Go ahead! For the wickedness of these people! Uh -huh. For the wickedness of these people, man! They gotta get paid for the judgment! That's right! Time for you niggas to wake up and judge the judgment! That's right! That's right! You know what's going on, man! Time Time that last one. The book of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 17! Bring it out! From that time, Jesus began to preach uh -huh. and to say, Repent! What? Repent! What? Repent! Repent. Repent. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand! Right, the whole thing that we went into, the kingdom that we're going to establish is going to be forever. So it says repent, but the kingdom of God, heaven is at hand, man. That's right. So y'all better wake up to who y'all are, man. And with that, I'm going to give an honor and glory to the Most High Yahweh, and I'll do some Mashiach, Mashiach, Yahweh, Shalom. Shalom. Some of them could have been in no way We sing the gospel, not talking Kurt Frank It's about God at the end of the day We working I tell you, man, I tell you, man, it's worth it Yeah, we working I tell you, man, I tell you, man, it's worth it Whoa, whoa, it's a car in the building We ain't sorry